Hey guys, the, every time there is a point where the tides turn, so Puker Trade, which was a scam, now we all understand it as a pyramid scam of some type, people used to defend that like it was their life. Kind of like Mythic Markets with their fractional ownership. They hired Vintage Magic, they hired Channel Fireball, LSV, and they were defending it as if it, this was the next great idea. And it was not. Uh, monthly magic box was the same. Tolarian Community College defended that until the bitter end. Guy was operating in jail the entire time. Tolarian Community College knew. We had a private Facebook group. I told him he didn't care. He said he didn't care. And he continued to promote a product that he knew that his subscribers would not be delivered ever. And they were not. So all these businesses, there comes a point where I can suddenly make a video about them because the atmosphere has changed. The overall feelings of goodness and happiness has changed. Now let's get to Alpha Investment. Alpha Investments, the idea is you buy, he buys a box of 50, he sells a box to you for 500, the box goes up to 1,000. Assuming this is true, I'm talking about first of this in mind, assume this actually happened, well then what is there to criticize? There's nothing for me to point out. He's made you double your money, supposedly. Now, how many of you guys are going to sell before the collapse eventually? I don't know. But at least on paper, it seems like a good idea. And so it's very hard to criticize something that is going that in, in this model, the lemmings are actually, you know, making supposedly on paper making money. Now, again, how many of them can sell? How many of them are selling? I would argue not that many uh, that they're just holding onto these bundles for dear life. Amazon has better prices than Rudy Chan on a lot of boxes, especially ones they have on sale. And, you know, you know, he attacks Amazon a lot, you know, because he understands Amazon will be his biggest competitor forever. Like Time Spiral Remastered, I, you know, you think they don't have any more? Boom, they have, they have another one. The prices that Amazon, because Amazon has a direct connection to Hasbro. They sell more than Magic the Gathering. They sell Dungeons and Dragons. They sell Dungeons and Dragons books cheaper on Amazon than you can get from your distributor. Let me repeat this again. It is well known in the local game store that the Dungeons and Dragons book, the manuals and guides are cheaper on Amazon than if a store were to purchase from a distributor. Many stores actually purchase the book from Amazon and then they mark it up in their store. That is one product, that is one skew. Now what you don't understand is many stores also are looking at these older magic boxes and thinking, huh, very interesting. So obviously I'm talking about Caterheim, I'm talking about Crimson Val and the sales they have on that are way better than anything Rudy Chan can offer you because Rudy Chan has a distributor. Amazon prices are lower than the distributor because Amazon actually charges 20% plus storage plus shipping. So the price that Amazon is getting these boxes must be dirt low for them to be able to make 20% margins on the boxes which they're making. Now, other stuff that Amazon is worried about, you know, Monopoly, right? Monopoly, these board games, like Amazon is always going to be the biggest baddest from here on out because at the end of the day they do more volume and they carry more skews not just magic the gathering they carry dungeon dragon they carry uh power rangers and beast morphers and whatever my little pony you go on amazon you find them all on the official hasbro website right or the hasbro amazon landing page the idea that he can give you a better deal on magic product is not right. Amazon, when it has a sale, which is very often, will have a better deal. GameStop used to, and I think it will very soon, uh, have the buy one, get one free sale, where you buy a pack, you get one free. It's a pretty good sale, yeah? And uh, you, it was Pat, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic. They used to have this like f a few times a year. Now, obviously, with the big Pokemon boom, they can't have the sale because there would be there were people stabbing each other and shooting each other in the parking lot to get there. Now, 
he does have a direct correlation with MetaZoo, and he does have a direct correlation with Flesh and Blood. You know, I've, you know, when you think about games and promos of people, like real living people, like I heard that MetaZoo, he has four different promos of himself. I've never heard of a game where Richard Garfield, for instance, Magic is 30 years old, has, I believe, one or two cards of himself. One of them is an unglued or unhinged, and the other one I think is like talking about his family is like having a second son or something. Like, yes. Uh, John Finkel, he has Shadow Maid's Infiltrator, right? He's in the artwork. I think he only has one card of himself. Um, Bob Mahler, he has Dark Confidant. He has one card of him. These are Magic players who as part of winning the Magic World Championship, get their face in the artwork. Snapcaster made another one. That makes sense to me. They play Magic at a very high level. They're not investors. But in these other games, Meta June and Flesh and Blood, their go-to person in real life is actually an investor. He does not know how to play the game. No, he does not know, I mean, <laughs> He's definitely not one of the top players of the game, right? So we have a very interesting dynamic of the turning point. The turning point is people are going to lose money. And people are going to lose money during a recession based on things they purchase from him. I know, oh, supposedly he gives you advice when he's, I don't know, is he giving this advice in an email when he's hyping the product up? Because I feel like that's anti-sales and he's very good at sales. So just like Pico Trade Monthly Magic Box or the Mana Source, there comes a turning point. I just gotta wait for it. Where enough people finally kind of wake up, the lemmings finally wake up, the ones that haven't jumped off the cliff yet, and realize, wait a second, what are we doing? Why are we buying these one thousand dollar bundles where we have two boxes of Monarch for five hundred a pop? Is this really a product that's going to survive the recession? Is this really a product that Joe Biden is not going to take down to zero? I don't know. And the same with the promo things. Like I've never seen a game, talk about Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, they, they again, they have a much longer history. But they don't ain't got no four promos in one dude, right? <laughs> I mean, imagine, you know, Pikachu. He was in Jungle and in there are more promos of, there's more cards of Rudy Chan in the first sets of MetaZoo than there were of Pikachu. Cards. In total. So Pikachu had his base and then he had Jungle. He did not have Fossil. And did he have Team Rocket or no? Well, no, Gym Leader. Maybe he had well, Gym Leader. So he had maybe three cards in the, in the four sets. Rudy has four cards already. I don't know in how many MetaZoo sets. I think they're, correct me, I, I, I I believe wilderness is your jungle, so that would be second. But then I heard that they have UFO, they have Dark Fall, something like that. I don't know. I don't keep up with MetaZoo. I just think it's pretty ridiculous for a game of this age. I think it's only two years old, right? COVID, right? Two to three years. I know Flesh and Blood is three years old total. So I know uh, MetaZoo is probably newer than Flesh and Blood. But like, my gosh, it got a promo like every six months of himself. At some point in time, you gotta look at that and say, huh, is that normal for other card games to do it? No, no other card game does it. The only these two. I wonder why. And I do feel like the turning point will have, if we hit a really bad recession and people lose all their jobs and they're just sitting on these Rudy bundles, like homeless, right? They're just building homeless built, you know, rooms out of these bundles, it will turn. So it's a gamble. He better pray that the economy recovers because it's going to look very silly for you to buy a $1,000 Rudy Chan card when you can't feed yourself.